a bird on your cat is worth two of cats in your belly. I'm Melton Sump Carpenter Mary, and this is my latest image. Yes, Dad, a carpenter worked on skyscrapers, Mom Mary Ann. I'm a Sump Carpenter Mary, I get to make parables. And, uh, I'm trying to get you kind of there, that's a little better. Yes, this is my Saint uh, Farah image. I've been including the saints in my imagery. You see me doing something wrong. I got the wrong year for the feast day, uh, wrong feast day, or wrong year, uh, one way or another. Try to call me 424 229 4140 and see religious scientists if you can't tell me what you believe. You can't ask what I mean by Jesus is my good house here on earth. I'll make a video of that because it's yes, your hijack lifeline. Now, one flight 93 check in nine years of asking. 4260 Eagle Rock Boulevard, apartment 409, Los Angeles, California, 90065. And yes, the number 424-229-4140. Make a video. It takes five minutes to make a video if you hijack a call to me. You're going to get something boring, a phone ringing, and every message busy signal. You get to leave a message. I don't get it. You don't show up on a caller ID to call log to call record. Whatever boring thing you get, it's not going to be boring if you need to fire and place paramedic, so be the reporter. Make that video of whatever you get when you don't get me. Whoever's in the room there with you, make the video with your phone of their phone not working. Their family's lifeline. Tell them to turn around make the video of your phone. Both of you post to MySpace, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, a hundred more. We the people must be the reporter. reporters. Call me up in front of reporters. Network news anchors, local news anchors, any and all in the public eye. And yeah, come see me in person. Tell me what you think of my saint's imagery. I I Google. I get it from uh, Catholic.org. The info. Do you know more? You know something extra? Come see me in person. Yes, I'm Melton. Stone Cold Melton's the nickname. Son of a Carpenter Mary is the parentage. And this is my Tommy Parable series. I'm the son of a Carpenter Mary. I get to tell parables. About Tommy the no arm Chinese fella, how do you get to be missing both his arms? Being blindly obedient. Tommy is a parable series about the streets, the unseen business, whatever it is you might call that. He was told by his boss, Wu, to stick his right arm into a wood chipper, and Tommy's always been blindly obedient, so he did that. The left arm saw what was going on and quickly jumped off. I'm going to try and make this uh, as short as possible because I've found a place to stream the basketball playoff on the internet ESTBS the app does not work it is bizarre as anything it is yes uh, telling me how popular my nightly parables and my imagery is with the college crowd so I'm gonna get the parable over with quickly and Tommy and sticking his right arm into that wood chipper and having a left arm jump off. He's now missing both arms, but he got a promotion. He's bossing a whole lot of folks around, and that's where we start. He's at work. And uh, Chang, or Ching, a uh, Ching. I get that confused. His middle name is Chang, and sometimes they'll call him Chang, sometimes they'll call him Ching. He's a uh, Tommy's personal assistant, and he uh, he needs a personal assistant more than most, missing both arms, and he tells me, Tommy wants you to give him a ride to a Wu's office. He has to drop off some paperwork and come back, and Mia. Mia says it's my memory device. Mia and Leah work for Tommy and Rhea is his girlfriend. He won because now he does a very mean snake dance. He's always done scaly, always talk with the lips. He likes to stick his tongue out a lot. And now that he is uh, missing both arms, he does a very mean snake dance. Snaked his way between Rhea and whoever she was dancing with at the snake pit. 
via Sitsirinelli. Snaked his way, go figure, in between her and whoever she was dancing with at the snake pit, and he's been there ever since. This is a work parable. It's going to end up at home, but Amia says he's still wearing that hat. And uh, that Chang Ching just says, yes, he is. So she goes out with him, and she's kind of embarrassed. Uh, he's wearing a hat with a bird on top. She goes to his car, and on the way over, he wants to stop for lunch. And yes, the cat's got you talking about wanting some more of the diner. And on the way out to her car again. I want you to take this out first. All of a sudden, they're walking through the parking lot and out of nowhere. This cat comes running across. I don't want to get blood everywhere. Running across and jumps up and takes a swipe at that hat, at the bird. It's a fake bird. I did tell you that, didn't I? That's that fake bird, but Tommy's quick. He's got that cat hunting. Stealth, and yes, uh, in case I didn't put that part in, Orientals love cats and dogs. And no, not as pets, uh, as dinner. Ask them if they're honest, they'll tell you. 231, good uh, calculus class back in, back in Monroe, Louisiana. 231. Tommy's cat hunting skills kick in. And he, uh, he doesn't have the arms anymore, but with his mouth, he grabs that tail as it makes us, you know, a jump at the cat on his hat, his cat. And he grabs it. And Rhea has, he did it with her once in public and embarrassed her no end. Told him you can't, only in alleyways. And all the animal folks out there don't write me letters. They get stolen. That's the point. It's a parable. It's a cartoon. And if you write me letters, they're going to be stolen to make a video. I have one bit of certified mail about those 93 checks in nine years of asking. Make that video, whatever you get when you don't get me. Certified letter at the post office. Use FedEx, use UPS. Takes five minutes. Make that video if you have to take the phone. Be the reporter. Come see me in person. Have Whit Will Travel Show with Perfect Place to Build. Jesus' Immaculate House here on Earth. In person, way to get things done. Now, uh, he grabs that cat and he knows better than to fling it up against the side of a house or a building or something because the free says don't do that. You know, if he's in the alley where no one's around, he's just playing up until it quits, you know, scratching up his belly. Because he's got it, you know, in the mouth by the tail. So he kind of muffled and says, uh, Mia, get out, sack. And yeah, always, so she's always wondered. New employees always wonder until that first time why he carries around that sack. And sure enough, so he opens up the sack, he drops the cat in, he says, sense up. And he got a little uh, string around the top and it senses up that, so the cat can't get out. She's got to hold it. And of course, she's kind of holding it way off because it's jumping around and smiling and waving as folks go past. And Tommy, you know, he, uh, he says, put in car. And she puts in the car and says, you got other sack? And he's found the cap. He did some cat hunting with Rio and the cat. That cap is very effective, so he always brings two sacks. So you know, if you go from the cat's got your tongue and wanting some more, the diner there, to... Um, 
Oh, my game's probably on. I gotta hurry this up. Ten minutes already. And uh, yeah, goes in, gets the paperwork dropped off, comes back out, and sure enough, on the way to the car again, there's that that other cat come running in, jumps up, tries to grab the uh, the fake bird. Uh, it's a very realistic looking bird. Tries to grab it, but Tommy grabs the cat first. And you know, you gotta pace her feeling sorry for the cat. Look, here the cat was gonna kill the bird. This isn't, you know, some uh, vegetarian world or something. This is the jungle. Tommy grabs that cat. Once again, it's a public, you know, loud public, a whole lot of folks around. So with that muffled thing, uh, he says to me, get second sack out. As he does that, he drops it in. And Tommy's got the biggest smile on his face as those two cats tied up in those sacks are <clears throat> jumping around in the back seat. And he says, you get rest of day off. Just drop me off at home. It's where he is, day off. So one's going to go in the freezer, of course. And one is tonight's dinner. I'm Melton, son of a carpenter. Come see me in person. Especially if you know how to get college basketball to work with the TBS app. Doesn't work uh, streaming with the uh, internet. Doesn't work with the... It worked for a while. It worked for a while with the phone app. Could even cast it to the TV, but... If you know what I mean by the Great Wall of Evil that has just me and all this imagery, you're going to find 20,000 plus at a lot of these sites like uh, Milton Prince or Daffodilia.blogspot.com, MiltonPrince.blogspot.com, ChristComplex2.wixsite.com slash Daffodilia. The Daffodilias are my portfolio site. I still got to put it up today, but the image I started with today will be there. Check it out. And uh, come see me a person to be in this imagery. Tell me what you think of uh, my Tommy parables and what uh, is needed to inspire the future and present to greatness for us in those homes, cities, communities, really. Jesus is a Magdalene house here on earth. Try to call me, 424-229-4140. Come see me a person. Oh, yeah. See my contact. Think your contact. I can put it where my contact is. You gotta see me in person and bring your favorite flowers. I'll turn them into forever flowers and my arm is given out now. So I'll turn them into forever flowers. Yeah, the muscles, brown eyed DNA going out, blue eyed DNA coming in. I'll turn them into forever flowers. You'll never have to water them again. Print them out a thousand times as photos. Use them for your desktops. Can even come in uh, business card size if you want those. They're very readable, most of them. Make you look cool. But you gotta come see me in person. I think the two to a four by six prints are the most popular. Download, print them out. Tell everyone, go see that man in person. Make sure you got the right address. There are the great wall of evil impersonators out there. 4260, Eagle Rock Boulevard, apartment 409. Come see me in person. Be in this imagery. Let me turn your favorite flowers into forever flowers. Tell me what that place needs to inspire with. Do it today. And hopefully you got a place I can watch the uh, game next year. Without the Great Wall of Evil that has just me and all my imagery and won't let me watch. I take toys at play. Won't let me watch a college basketball final. Come see me. Let's get started. Building a better world. One image. At a time, one video of truth. Remember, Jesus' house is built on truth. Any good priest or none will tell you that. Make that video truth right now. Your family's life, and you got the timestamp on your phone, you got the number dialed, doesn't sync up to our phone records, you got phone gate. Do that. Come see me in person. Tell me what you think of our hijacked life.